Do you want to start us off? Rolling around <laughs> at the speed of sound. <laughs> you, you, you faker. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, what are we talking about today? Uh, are you a crybaby? Yeah. Me too. I've got I've got a pin that says Crybaby Gang. Yeah, you do. M- made by our our friend uh, Momo. Uh, I think Momo. What's her studio I name? Think Momo Plush. Yes, that's it. Oh Momo, my gosh. I think on Twitter is Momo Plush. Momo Plush Art, maybe. Yes. I don't quite remember her hand. We'll put it in the description. Fake friend. Yeah. Go follow her on Twitch. She does art, and she made a pin that says Crybaby Gang. After that tangent, we're both crybabies, so why are you asking? <laughs> are you a crybaby? Um, well, because we're going to be talking about a movie called Any Crybabies Around. Oh, is that is that movie about our cat, Chester? Yes, it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I don't know if I got the title of this movie right. No, I think it's I, I did? Any Crybabies Around. Okay. Yeah. I was like, oh crap, I just wrote down what I thought it was. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about this. This was on Netflix. Uh, Netflix, but 2020? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. It was, yeah, I think it was 2020. I think it was 2020. I think it was 2020. Release. Yeah. Um, it's on Netflix. It, it, as of this recording, it's available on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow it won't be. Could be. Uh, and it's directed by uh, Takuma Sato. That's the boy. <laughs> I wrote down I, a description. Uh, would you like to share that description? I, I, are, you, I, are you just going to stare at me I'm until gonna, I... I'm going to wait until you give me the description. Okay. Like, just, okay, I'm going to stare at you and like read my mind. Okay. Okay, ready? So, like, Any Cry Babies Around is a 2020 drama film set in Akita, I think. Uh, that's that, not part of the description. That, oh, okay. Well, that centers around a man who literally shows his ass skips town, moves to Tokyo, and then comes back to the town in which he showed his ass. And it's really sad. And, yeah. It was really hard to maintain that much eye contact. <laughs> was I, was like, I think that's the most <laughs> eye contact I've ever maintained in my entire life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, same, to be honest. I'm so emotionally exhausted now. <laughs> Well, that's the podcast, everybody. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so, um, is that was that at all similar to that's, your? That's very similar to what. Yeah, Akita yeah. is where. Yeah, okay. Um, is where it is, um, and it's it's based there because that's where the 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 crutch of the, the story, which you did not discuss, the no. the Namahage yes. festival. Ah, uh, yes. Is based Sorry. in Akita. He's he's a part of the Namahage Namahage festival. He gets too drunk, and then he shows his ass, and then he leaves. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, are we going to try to be spoiler-free, or are we... I mean... We'll try. We try. We, to, we always... To, to be honest, I don't know how you could spoil this movie until the very end of this movie. Yeah, I agree. I Most the of the... Way. Most of the... This is, this is a very... Spoiler alert, nothing happens in this it's, movie. It's a very... <laughs> like, I don't even want to say methodical. Slow. It's just a slow slow Mm -hmm. burn and i think that's purposeful yeah i think that's part of why it's so depressing too yeah i think it's meant to make you feel Mm -hmm. there are many situations where Mm -hmm. the characters are just like looking at each other yeah yeah and not speaking and maintaining that contact yeah oh gosh (laughs) um and and i think that's to make the audience Mm -hmm. feel time passing yeah and I think that's to kind of try to relate to. Oh man, I have hiccups again. Oh no! It's to try to relate to uh, Tasuka, Tasuku, mm-hmm. Tasuku. Mm-hmm. That's his name is Tasuku, isn't it? I don't remember his name. Oh no, oh, Tasuku. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I think he's feeling time passing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, what did you? What do you think of this movie? Okay, this is a tough one because I, as far as I understand it, this is actually, like, has generally pretty good reviews. Mm-hmm. I think it's, like, on average, like, a 7 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. which is, like, I guess in movie reviews, an I, average. Like, I, I, yeah, I don't I, understand reviews. Like, it doesn't make sense to me, so that's why we don't use them. No, media reviews don't make any sense. They, Where they don't use 5 as an average, and, yeah, like, 7 is an average, 8 is okay nine is good 
and 10 is like pretty good like it yeah doesn't i don't make any sense yeah i don't it doesn't make sense to me so i mean i'll say like apparently that's what most people give it right i don't know what that means yeah. but that's what most people give right. it mm-hmm. um i mean i it's hard it's it's hard because i think this movie it has a lot of really good cinematography it has mm-hmm. a lot of really good acting it's very um, it's very pretty it's a very well-made movie mm-hmm. um but it is so bleak. Yeah. It is so, so bleak. And it's really, it's, it's hard for me to watch. Mm-hmm. I tend to use the media that I consume as a means of escape. Because yeah. we live in a hell world. What? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, 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 I say that jokingly. I mean, I, there are many wonderful things to enjoy about oh, life. Yeah. And I, I, I'm very happy to be alive. Yeah. There are just some things going on in the world right now that we're not going to talk about because we don't need to remind everybody of them. No. But they, they can suck. And it's like, sometimes you just want to not think about things that suck. Yeah. And So watching stuff like this kind of... Kind of kills the mood great. for me. Yeah. Like, it's not necessarily my go-to. But yeah. I will say, like, it was a very pretty movie. It was. And it was, it, like, some of the stuff that happened in it was fascinating. Mm-hmm. But it is also kind of a giant downer. Oof. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Because it's 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 one of those movies where like consistently, you don't even necessarily really like the main character because some of his problems are his own fault. Mm. So it's hard to like sympathize with him. But in other ways, it's easy to sympathize with him because like because we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, and in certain ways, he was kind of dealt like a shit hand. So, but then you keep wanting things to get better like whether or not you like him and then they just keep consistently not getting better yeah. so it, it's just kind of over and over again and it's yeah it's it's, it's tough it's tough it's a tough watch it's, yeah. it's a tough watch like especially if you're like going through you're yeah. going through a time yeah maybe save this one for another time yeah. <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i do think it's worth watching um mm-hmm. especially because i think it's a really cool and very visceral um mm-hmm. introduction to the namahage Mm-hmm. Um, which, do you know anything about that? Not really. Okay. No. So I looked up a little bit. I did not do very good, very thorough, very mm-hmm. detailed research. I read a Wikipedia article. How dare. So, I mean, <laughs> I will read what I wrote down. Okay. Um, the Namahage are demon-like beings portrayed by men wearing hefty oni masks mm-hmm. and traditional straw capes during a New Year's ritual. Um, in local northern Japanese folklore of the Oga Peninsula area of Akita Prefecture. Right, okay. Um, in Japanese folklore, Namahage are a troll type of oni with blue or red skin. The only way to appease them and send them on their merry way is by giving them mochi, which, well, we'll get back to that. Uh, Namahage are messengers from the gods sent to scold all into being good little boys and girls. Like mm-hmm. most legends of trolls and boogeymen, it's all just a le- lesson to teach kids and also scare the holy crap out of them. That's yeah. from uh, gaijinpot.com. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, basically the the festival, is it, it happens yearly, um, annually. I think it happens specifically. It's, it's like a New Year's festival, but it doesn't happen at New Year's. I think it happens... Is it like... Lunar New Year or something? Yeah, I think it's this the first full moon okay, yeah. of the year, which is usually like mid February. Right. So like okay. that's when it happens. Okay. Um and yeah, they the it's it's just a bunch of guys who dress up and go scream at children and yeah. in their house. In their house. They go yeah. into their home. Yeah. Um and it's it's like a it's it's a tr- tradition thing and um Japanese parents love it. See, like so that's portrayed in the movie. Oh yeah, where they're like laughing and playing yeah. along and everything. And the kids are like the kids terrified. are terrified. See, that's why when when you started your statement like a minute or two ago and you said this is a great introduction to, I thought you were gonna say generational trauma <laughs> because <laughs> honestly, it's bad. It's it's yeah. I, I mean, think it's... that that's a lot. Like not not to uh, not to poo poo anybody's like, traditions and culture that I don't that I'm not a part of and that I don't understand exactly obviously like I'm not saying that but the way that it was portrayed it always felt like it was kind of it it kind of felt like it was portrayed in a negative light maybe I was misreading okay it. so like it's funny that you mentioned that because mm-hmm. while reading about it and mm-hmm. and I don't remember where I read this so I apologize for the lack of credit um yeah. but I 
someone had mentioned that it might have been in a review or I don't quite remember, but yeah. someone had mentioned that the man, the the guy who's like the seer, the the oh, yeah, overseer yeah, yeah. of the Namahage. Right. Um they talked about how he's very pompous. Yeah. And how he like when he's giving the interview, mm-hmm. like even the way he talks about mm-hmm. it didn't feel appropriate. Yeah, because for anybody who doesn't have the context, he's like a, an elder of the town mm-hmm. who it's like an honor that he's finally in charge of this. Like, he had to get to a certain yeah. age Th- this important of tradition. experience for, for him to be the, the one guy who takes care of the entire thing. He's the one guy. And he's one guy. Um, and yeah, no, that totally came through that he was kind of a giant asshole. So I do wonder... If so, if, if I think of the movie that way, mm-hmm. if I think of the movie, and it's, and I, I don't want to say that it is this right, because of course, I of course. don't know. This is not my culture, not my t- tradition. Mm-hmm. If I view the movie as a criticism mm-hmm. of the Namahage Festival, mm-hmm. then this movie is way better in mm-hmm. my mind. Yeah, because I think the parallel, of course, mm-hmm. being that, um. Uh, Tasku mm-hmm. is the crybaby in question, right? Who is who is the naughty boy, right? You who, know, who never like really who never matures. Really grew up. He never grows know? up exactly. Who would be chased by right. the oni, right? I think if we think of it that way as a criticism of the Namahage, mm-hmm. then it it makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because in essence the tradition itself hasn't helped him. Right. Yeah. And that's that was, like, one of the things about it was that his dad was the guy who, like, made the masks and everything. So, like, right. this was, like, really entrenched in his childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, like, it was, like, supposed to be, like, the, uh, this honor that mm-hmm. he does it, you know. And from the beginning, he doesn't really seem to care that he's a part of it. No, he doesn't. He, he, of everybody involved, Everybody else is super into it. Exactly. Well, and it even comes it comes across as mm-hmm. being forced into something. Right. The same way the children are forced into mm-hmm. this tradition. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not I am but, not right. making any moral statement on no, no. this festival. I, I And we could be misreading. I could be misreading. It. This is coming from a single comment I saw, mm-hmm. a, a review, a comment, something mm-hmm. by another person that the the man in question the the person overseeing mm-hmm. the festival mm-hmm. is pompous. Right. So if we interpret it that way, yeah, then it's very fascinating to look at the parallel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but of course, you don't have to interpret it that way. You, no, you no, could interpret course, it completely different. You know, as like as like you know something akin to Santa Claus or mm-hmm. Krampus, maybe. Mm-hmm. I like if you're not a good boy or girl, like right. you're gonna get eaten by the oni yeah you know? yeah just like a more by intense the <laughs> yeah 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 just a more intense version of that where they actually come to your house and yell at you yeah they actually like that was that was really fascinating um when the movie like they they like bang on the door mm-hmm. and the parents let them in and mm-hmm. that's just like oh the, like just that 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 trust thing yeah. but it's actually this the the festival is also supposed to build trust right in that it's supposed to be like your parents will protect you. Right, 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 right. And they'll did, keep you safe. I saw something about that too. Yeah. That, yeah. That that's part of the point is to show, to build the like familial bond. bond yeah. For, like against outside, people outside of the family and exactly. stuff like that. And so, forces outside of the family. So if you want to interpret it that way, mm-hmm. it's a completely different read of the movie. Mm-hmm. So that's why I like, I, that's why I like, I don't want to say like, don't watch this movie because no, like, no, I, no. I, I really think you should watch this movie because there, there's, there are so many different ways to interpret it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, depending on how you want to interpret like mm-hmm. the festival and how it applies to Tusku's life and, and just like all of the other influences at play. Mm-hmm. It's just a hard watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's so like whether it's whether it is criticizing the festival and it is talking about like generational trauma or if it's just about this guy who has terrible luck and is kind of a screw up, like either way, it's still not a fun movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. But I will say like for me personally, mm-hmm. 
reading it as a criticism of the festival mm -hmm. makes it more enjoyable for me. Yeah. Because it gives more reason to it. I like when things have reason. I mean, that's just how I am. Well, and that's that well, while we were watching it, that's what I was thinking the whole time. And I think toward the end, it kind of solidified that reading for me that it's using the festival as a metaphor for what his parents did to him and what he'll eventually do to his kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like just the, the, the festival is a metaphor for that sort of generational trauma. Mm -hmm. And I think while we were watching it, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And again, like you do not have to interpret it. No, that way. of course not. Of and course you not. don't have to think of this as like, I'm certainly not saying that I personally am criticizing the festival. No, like, that's... no. It's like I said, I, I wouldn't, somebody else's traditions that I'm like not a part of and that mm -hmm. I don't like fully understand obviously yeah I yeah. was gonna say that the mochi was part of yes um that I don't feel like that was in the movie no I think they just kept giving them alcohol yeah they, it was, and which was like the, that was part of the, it part of the reason why he ends up naked in the streets right because he gets so drunk that he's naked yeah yeah like in February right <laughs> in northern Japan and I know in Akita yeah yeah um, no, that, I, I don't think that came up at all. I, th I think it was just alcohol, mm -hmm. I, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. But I, I mean, the, like I said before, the cinematography, oh, absolutely. like a lot of the framing, mm -hmm. a lot, cause it, I think it did a really good job of like making him seem small. Mm -hmm. Like, cause he was like on the beach next to the ocean, mm -hmm. you know, and it was just so vast, yeah, you know? Yeah. And something that I thought was interesting when he was walking on the beach, he comes across a single flip flop, mm -hmm. like it's out of place. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that was him. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's out of place. Right. In this town, mm -hmm. you know, but he like, he can't really settle no, in he Tokyo was... cause he doesn't have like the familial bond. He was just as out of place. Exactly. There. Yeah. So it was, it was tough. Mm -hmm. Like, it was, like, you, 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 it's like you said before, like, you want to have sympathy for this guy, mm -hmm. and, and you do, mm -hmm. and, like, you want to see him succeed, mm -hmm. but it's, it's like, there's a lot of shame. Yeah. Shame is a really big theme in this movie. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I loved his mom so much. Mm -hmm. His mom just had no fucks to give. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she was just like, yeah, no, you're my son. Mm-hmm. You, you can do it. Which part of me wonders about that. Because um, the, the thing, the little the little bit that I read. Yeah. That I was referring to about the strengthening the family connections and everything. They were specifically saying that the festival was supposed to represent the father. The father, protecting. yeah. That's what so, I thought too. of course, if he like, quote unquote, failed um, by ending up you know disgracing himself and his family and then and then leaving and then coming back of course his, his dad wouldn't be accepting him because he's entrenched in that culture but if the mother isn't as much a part mm -hmm. of of that tradition yeah then like it makes sense that she would be more willing to just accept him back exactly you know but i felt like wasn't his dad not there at all like he's was he dead i feel like his dad was was dead you're right because it was his brother that yeah. was that was so pissed off at him because mm -hmm. they had like, like his brother who had taken on that he had role, inherited the, the male role he right. inherited his father's business the, the wood mill I yeah. think it was yeah. and like making the masks and all that kind of stuff yeah like yeah 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 it was his brother you're right mm -hmm. but but it was funny because his brother like eschewed the tradition like mm -hmm. because when he saw the mask he was like just get rid of it yeah he he didn't take part in it anymore yeah so but he still had he still held it against him yeah like, yeah yeah it was, it's, very, very fascinating movie. Mm -hmm. It's one that, like, in the right mindset, I'd want to go back and rewatch, mm -hmm. you know, knowing what I know now. Yes. You know, and being able to pick up on the more, like, subtle clues mm -hmm. and the subtleties there. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I, I think I think you should watch it. Yeah. I, I think you should watch it. I think, like, learning about Namahage, mm -hmm. that was really cool. There's a lot more to learn about it, too. There Like, mm -hmm. there's, like, this whole, like you know, history of it and everything that right. I, I didn't think was important to get into. I just wanted to talk about what was present in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just don't watch it if you're in a bad headspace because it is... It's pretty bleak. It's pretty friggin' bleak. Um, but yeah, uh, like Kylie said, as of, or like Eli said... Uh, <laughs> oh, we forgot to introduce ourselves. Oh, I'm Kylie. 
<laughs> Apparently, I'm still Eli. Um, uh, as of now, it's on Netflix. I don't know. This will probably go up in like two weeks. I don't know if it'll still be on there. Uh, hopefully, but go check it out. And uh, I think that's everything. Do you do you have anything else to say? If you're listening on YouTube. Hey, did you know we are on Spotify? What? Yeah, you can watch us without having to deal with ads and not being on desktop mode if you're on mobile. Unless you have Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're on Spotify, go check us out on YouTube. Because we've only got a handful of episodes up here so far, but there's like five years worth of videos on YouTube. Wow! It's great. Go check it out. Faker. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, good morning, good afternoon, good day. Good evening. Good, good. Good. Bye. <laughs>